the authority of the national president, I am deputized to install the offices of the Department of Massachusetts Ladies Auxiliary to the Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of my visit being fully understood, we will proceed at once with our installation duties. Madam Department President, have the offices been elected for the ensuing and appointed for the ensuing year? Madam Department President, is the Office of Department Treasurer bonded? <laughs> Madam Department President, have the books of the Department Treasurer been audited and report made of same? They have. Madam Department Secretary, you will read the names of the offices for the ensuing year, commencing with the Department President. As your names are called, you will please rise, and the, the installing conductresses will escort you to your position at the rear of the altar. President John Wintercon. Senior Vice Diane Delic and Coke. Junior Vice, Beverly Allen. <laughs> Secretary, Betty J. Rosa. Ten Grace Wolf, eleven Jeanette Anderson, department offices. You have chosen and chosen to fill appointment offices in this department. And it is necessary that the duties of the office be intelligently and faithfully discharged. Are you willing to assume the duties of the office to which you have been chosen and you promise to perform the same to the best of your ability? Yes. You will raise your right hand and repeat after me the office's obligation. Will the assembly please rise? In the presence of the members, 
of this organization assembled, of this organization assembled. I do solemnly promise, I do solemnly promise on my sacred honor, on my sacred honor, to perform faithfully, to perform faithfully, strictly, strictly, and impartially, and impartially, all the duties of the office, all the duties of the office, upon which I am about to enter, upon which I am about to enter. I will, I will, at the end of my term of office, at the end of my term of office, or sooner if so ordered, or sooner if so ordered, my proper authority, my proper authority, surrender immediately, surrender immediately, to only duly authorized persons, to only duly authorized persons, all persons, all persons, all records, all records, money, money, or other property, or other property, in my possession, in my possession. I do so promise. I do so promise. Let us pray. <laughs> Dear God, make us feel our nearness as we bow our heads and ask that blessing on these sisters who have assumed office in our great organization. Make them conscious of the responsibility they have assumed. Give them courage, strength, and the will to forego all personal ambitions and strive only to serve others. Guide and direct our hearts and minds that we, we may better serve thee and the veterans of foreign wars. Amen. Amen. Madam conductors and assistant conductors, you will escort the newly installed state president to this station. Conductor says, would you please escort the officers to the respective station beginning with the senior vice president?
proper manner, to be firm in the discharge of your duties, but strive to promote harmony in this organization and advance its interests by being kind and courteous to all the officers and members. The bylaws and rituals of this organization provide, prescribe in detail the duties of the office. By virtue of the election, we are confident that you will acquaint yourself thoroughly with the duties. Learn well the responsibilities and trust on you that you may intelligently discharge your duties. Are you ready to assume your obligation? Yes, I am. I now present you this gavel, your emblem of authority. Use it firmly, but with discretion. And remember, the president is expected to set a good example. The success on this department for the coming year depends in great measure on your wise conduct of its affairs. I now, ladies of the auxiliary, I now present to you the offices of your choice. Aid them in the performance of their duties. And with these offices you have chosen, this term of office will be highly successful. I wish to extend to you the best wishes of the National Organization to the Department of Massachusetts, Ladies Auxiliary, Veterans of Foreign Laws of the United States. I now declare the offices duly installed for the ensuing year in a good working order. At this time, I'd like to thank the sisters who assisted me this afternoon. It's a little bit difficult to install such a close friend when she was instituted into that auxiliary many years ago. I never thought I'd see this day, but I am just thrilled to see this. This is Jane Jensen, uh, the outgoing president of auxiliary 10334, and uh, Nancy Brown, uh, Incoming president of one oh oh you are the president. <laughs> Johnny, this uh, a little something from the sisters of the Sullivan Post. We send you our love and we hope you much luck in the, your ensuing year. It's been a long way, but boy, we're so glad you're there. <laughs> Joan, this is just something from Brownie and I because we love you. Her husband Brownie's my escort at all the dances and everything she lets me have many times I won. <laughs> Joan, on behalf of District 3, it's my pleasure to give you this token to start the year out with. Thanks to my District 3, one of the best districts in the state. On behalf of myself, this is just a little something for you. Good luck. Thank you very much. my pleasure <laughs> to uh, turn over this office of state president to you. Somebody asked me, they said, gee, you look awfully happy. Or, you know, uh, aren't you a little sad that you're going out as state president? And I said to them, any state president who isn't glad when her year is over either is crazy or really hasn't worked hard enough. <laughs> But I do have your briefcase here with the office keys. Don't forget the charter out front. Okay. <laughs> and I just have a little gift, Joni. Uh, it's been my pleasure to have you as my senior vice this year. Uh, I think we've worked very well together. Our whole department has really been cooperating with each other, and it was really my honor to have you as my senior vice. Thank you very much, Kathy. And uh, during the year, 
we did get a tremendous closeness. Uh, you started it. Hopefully, we'll continue it. Thank you very much. And you know you're our adopted daughter, and I thought your adopted father was going to be here, but I understand he gets hung up over him in with the junior vice commander in chief. And this is a lot of love, and you know the best of wishes to you all. Uh, there's a little story behind that. When my parents moved to Florida a few years back, my mother was very concerned about me. So she gave me to Barbara and Ted Eaton <laughs> while she was in Florida. Okay. Uh, now I have a very special thing to do. I know I'm an extremely obnoxious grandmother. Everybody in this department has seen pictures of my four grandchildren. Nicholas was born during auxiliary meetings. Uh, his other Nana is the sister of the young man that our post is named after. This is how I got so involved in the Veterans of Farm Wars. Uh, his nana was a Sullivan, and of course our post is PFC John M. Sullivan Post. Uh, right after the auxiliary meeting was over, uh, I knew that my daughter was in the hospital, and uh, his other nana, Dot, was uh, the chaplain at the time. And after the meeting was over, Dottie bowed her head and said the prayer because we do our meeting according to ritual. And she said, and God bless our baby, whatever it is. And it was Nicholas. Uh, and Brian uh, is Nana's little buzzard, right, Brian? He, he is just a devil. Uh, he's Nicholas's brother, and Brian was born during a midwinter conference. So I'll tell you, my mind wasn't on that conference. Uh, their parents are my youngest daughter, Sue. Would you stand up, Susie? And her husband, John. He's a family right, right. And my oldest daughter, uh, it's all you've heard about all year long. Uh, she is, uh, uh, little Eric uh, is the reason for my special project, and we have decided that he will be the Department of Massachusetts' the little poster boy this year. <laughs> and for everybody's information, he really is doing much better than we ever dreamed. Uh, the other little guy, William is. <laughs> he's on the floor. <laughs> is Aaron, and he's going to be a little devil when he grows up. The babies are both doing great. They really, really are. And the parents of these two are my oldest daughter, Cynthia, and her husband, Richard. <laughs> and the patriarch of the family, the young lady down at the end of the table. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Nicholas. <laughs> oh, honey. Yeah, it was wonderful. You want to stand up here and say, can we get this done? Is it time? This beer is from me, Brian, Eric, and Aaron. And look at them of our family, my mother, Mary Nesky, she's here, uh -huh. we're all here. Hi, everybody. <laughs>
special jewelry bag for me to you. I know she goes straight to the end of you. She's my co-pilot everywhere I go. While I'm here, and if I can, and now that I know I'm not going to cry, didn't I do pretty good, you guys? Yeah. Not bad for me, huh? Yeah. Right, Lou? Right. right. Uh, Jerry did take over the convention fund table 90% of the year. Uh, Peggy Nichols was operated on last Wednesday, and she's doing fine. Uh, but I have to thank uh, Jerry and her crew for taking over. I'm sure if Peggy was here, Peggy would thank her also. My daughter will appreciate the work in this. Look at him. Oh. Isn't he a tall cross stitch? Isn't he incredible? Yeah. He'll be at the podium every meeting.
The faster the state offices and district presidents get up here, the faster we can leave. Right here. Yep, right here. It only takes two minutes. Right here in front. It only takes two minutes. Yeah, the Beverly Hillbillies.